Hello, this is Nolan from Benchmark, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your S321 receiver as a base. First, we're going to head over into our Equip tab, where we're going to select the second option, GPS Base. Once there, we're going to select a manufacturer of Hemisphere GNSS from the dropdown, and the model is the S321 from the second dropdown. Once that's complete, we're going to head over into the Comms tab. We're going to select Bluetooth from the Type dropdown and we are going to select the device we want as our base. The number found in the device dropdown can be found on the bottom of the receiver. It is the serial number. If your device has not already been paired with your data collector, you can pair and find the device using this hammer and wrench tool next to the Bluetooth type Windows Mobile dropdown. So once we've selected the proper receiver that we want to use for our base, we're going to hit the receiver and blue plug button that is to the left of the green checkmark button. This is just going to establish that we have a proper Bluetooth connection with the data collector. Once that's complete, we're going to head over into the Receiver tab, where we're going to make sure of a couple things. We're going to make sure that we have HEM S321 as the antenna type, and that our antenna height is set. This is going to be measured from the bottom of the receiver to the ground. Once we've done this, we're going to go into the Advanced tab here at the bottom, and make sure that all our constellations are selected. This is going to give us the best accuracy that is possible because we have access to the most satellites we can. And newly added in the last update to the S321 is the Galileo constellation. So we're just going to make sure that these all have a check mark on all the constellations. Once that's complete, we're going to hit the green check mark at the top and head over into the RTK tab. Once there, we're going to make sure that our device is set as internal UHF and that the message type is the RTCM V3.2. So next to our internal UHF, which is the internal radio inside the hemisphere, we're going to hit the wrench and the hammer button here to configure that radio. So this is going to take us into the radio configuration screen where we can change and check on the settings of the radio that is found inside the receiver. Once there, we're going to check that our power is at 1 watt. This will give us the greatest range from the receivers. We're also going to either write down or memorize what our channel is, so that when we come back to the rover, we know what channel we need to place the rover on. If the rover and base are not on the same channel, they will not be able to communicate, and you will not be able to get a fix on the rover. So once that's complete, we're going to hit the green check mark at the top again. And once it's done configuring the device here, we are going to hit the green check mark found at the top of, of the page again. So this is going to take us to the base configuration screen. Once there, we're going to hit read from GPS and leave it at by number 10 times. So this is going to take 10 shots within S the uh, serve CE, and it will then average it and find out where your base is sitting. So at any time you can cancel this, or if you think you have enough points and it's accurate enough, you can hit stop averaging and store. So once you hear that chime, you're going to see a screen that says RTK broadcast ID. You don't have to change anything in there, it's fine. So now you're going to hit continue with base setup, yes. And now if you're satisfied with where your uh, base is and you want to come back to that the next day, you can hit Save Settings to File, Yes. And if you come put your base back on that exact same point, you can use the already saved point as the base reference. So thank you. That's all for today. If you have any more questions, you can reach us at 1-888-286-3204 or you can find us online at benchmark.ca. Thank you.